G'day. In this video, you'll meet the partners of 16 of the current F1 drivers. An architectural graduate, two professional sportswomen, a law graduate, a TV presenter, several models, and a whole lot more. Like every year, there are some new inclusions in this group and a couple of departures. So if you're ready, sit back, buckle up, and let's get started. It never ceases to amaze me just how much interest there is in the partners of F1 drivers. This year, they're all women. Of course, at some point we may have a male partner, but as it stands now, that doesn't appear to be the case. So let me introduce you to 16 women who call an F1 driver their husband or their boyfriend. First up, meet Carmen Montero Munt, George Russell's girlfriend. I first spotted the pair in the paddock during the Tuscan GP of 2020, and since then she's been a regular and very popular attendee at many of the races with George. She lives in London, works in finance, has a stylist, is the subject of a few fan Insta pages, and has 88,000 Insta followers herself. I stood next to Carmen in Parc Ferme at the 2022 Spanish GP, enabling me to get these lovely pics of the pair, and also to cop a fair bit of sparkling wine that George sprayed at his girlfriend from the podium. Next up, Fernando Alonso, who introduced us to his new girlfriend, Andrea Schlager, earlier this year. I've known Andrea for a while because she works in F1 as a TV presenter for Austrian Broadcaster Service. She actually started working in F1 with Bernie Eccleston. A few races ago, I spoke with Andrea about the relationship, and she said initially they had to keep it very quiet. It was a tough battle. But over time, some of the WAG sites picked up on the relationship, and in Miami, they appeared together for the first time at a track. Since then, they look super comfortable with each other in the paddock, and I must admit, when I first saw Andrea interview Fernando in the paddock, I thought, that must be a little bit odd, huh? Interviewing your partner. Imagine, too, knowing that your partner's about to switch teams and not being able to report about that on air. And if you're a Fernando fan and would like one of these signed prints, you can get onto kimilman.com and see if there are any left. Throughout the year, I do a number of collaborations with drivers, but to get the first crack at these hand-signed and hand-numbered prints, you probably need to register so you get an email advice the moment they become available. You'll find a link to this page in the description below. Next up, Max Verstappen and his girlfriend, 33-year-old Kelly Piquet. She hails from Brazil and is one of the most popular women in Formula One. She started going out with Max in late 2020. Prior to her relationship with Max, she was Daniil Kvyat's partner. She has a daughter with Daniil, Penelope, who have only seen at one race, Brazil, in 2019, when Kelly posed for this pic. In the last year, Kelly's more than doubled her social media audience to nearly a million people. In fact, pics of Kelly on my social media do way better than pics of her boyfriend, Max Verstappen, a world driver's champion. The second mum in this group of 16 is Carola Martinez, Sergio Perez's wife. And where did Carola and Sergio meet? At a disco. The pair live in Guadalajara, Mexico, and in December 2017, they had their first child, Sergio Perez Jr. They were married shortly after that in June 2018, had their second child, Carlotta, in September of 2019, and their third, Emilio, earlier this year in May. And this year, I've seen her at just two races, the Canadian GP and the French GP. And I should say that I've chatted with and provided images to most of the women you'll meet in this video today. And all but one have been to a Grand Prix this year. Who hasn't? Well, hang around and I'll tell you. What about Charles Leclerc, I hear you cry? Well, he goes out with Charlotte Cine. Charlotte, who's 22, is a monogasque, just like Charles. She started going out with him in 2019 after her family lived next door to Charles' family in Monaco for many years. She's quite a shy character, but she's no slouch when it comes to study. She recently graduated as an architect. She's creative too, having studied music for 15 years, plays the piano, just like Charles, and has even sung opera. She's a talented artist, and last year she took up designing shoes. She's also good friends with the girlfriend of Carlos Sainz, Issa Hernes. This is Issa. She, like Carlos, is from Madrid, where she holds a Bachelor of Bilingual Journalism. She works in fashion as a press officer and models occasionally. The first time I met Issa was at the 2021 British GP, but now she's a much more regular attendee in the paddock. And I must say it's tricky to get a shot of the pair walking next to each other. It's a lot easier to get a photo of her with one of the other two Carlosses. And where do these partners watch the race from when they're at the track? 
most from the hospitality suite on telly or sometimes from the back of the garage. And that's because a paddock pass doesn't come with any grandstand access. For a good number of years, Daniel Ricciardo was marked down as single. There'd been rumours for some time that he was friends with actor model Heidi Berger. But when Heidi popped up in Saudi as a guest this year of McLaren, there was plenty of chatter. But on the Sunday when she walked into the paddock with Dan's trainer, wheeling her and Daniel's luggage, it was pretty much confirmed that the pair were together. I was introduced to Heidi at the McLaren Hospitality Suite in Melbourne this year, and she is a delight. A couple of months later, Daniel posted this picture on his Instagram page, and pretty much it was a done deal that he was going out with the daughter of F1 great, Gerhard Berger. A few days later, she was with the Aussie driver in Miami and clearly enjoying herself. Daniel's teammate, Lando Norris, went public in December last year that he was going out with Portuguese model Luisa Barossa Oliveira. Luisa, who's in her early 20s, is quite a character. I first met her in Abu Dhabi last year, and since then she's been a joy to shoot at a number of races. It's fair to say that you love images of Lando and Luisa. They're the perfect pair on social media. And like a lot of women in this video, Luisa's popularity on Instagram has shot up markedly due to her exposure at the track. I think out of all the girlfriends, it's Esteban Ocon's that I've known for the longest. This is Elena Berry. Elena's 25, Italian born, started university in Paris, ended up studying international business in Geneva. She's into fashion and has collaborations with some Italian brands. The pair met in Valencia in Spain 2017, and she admits openly that she had no idea who Esteban was at the time she met him. She's been at a number of races this year, always looks stylish, clearly enjoys the sport now, and is the subject of a handful of fan pages on Instagram. Of the 16 women you'll meet in this video, only one hasn't been at the track, as far as I know, in the past five years, and that is Sebastian Vettel's wife, Hannah. She's the mother of his three children, and I'm hearing that there's a very strong possibility she may attend her first race in many years at his last race in Abu Dhabi this year. Fingers crossed. Question, who does Alex Albon go out with? Answer, Lily He. She's a professional golfer, was born in Chengdu, China, grew up in Canada. She supports Alex at a number of races each year, and he in turn supports her at some golf events when he's able. They are a super popular pairing on my Instagram page, and with good reason. She's a great girl. How did the pair meet? Uh, they discovered each other on social media and met a couple of months later. She admits that she knew nothing about F1 until she started talking to Alex. I get great pictures of these two as they're both happy to smile for my lens. Oh, and Lily has around half a million followers on Instagram. But why is the public so fixated with the partners of these F1 drivers? And don't doubt that they are. Have a look at my top posts on Instagram. Add a girlfriend to any driver pic and suddenly the reach goes through the roof. Look at my top four YouTube videos. Clearly, there's a huge appetite for this sort of content. And I have to tell you, that surprises me. My audience is now about 70% male, 30% women. Going back a couple of years ago, it was 85% males and 15% women. And I think it's Netflix that's leading to more women becoming involved in the sport. And they want to know who's captured the hearts of these elite sportsmen. Williams driver Nicholas Latifi goes out with 26-year-old Polish model Sandra Zivasek. She was born in Poland but now lives in London. She's a lawyer by profession and used to be a professional pole vaulter. She loves the camera as much as the camera loves her. I first shot Sandy at the opening race of 2021 in Bahrain and it's fair to say that when you add Sandy to a pick of Nicholas, you get way more than double the engagement. Next up, Valtteri Bottas. Well, he was married to Amelia, and in 2019, the pair split. And today, he goes out with Adelaide cyclist Tiffany Cromwell. She represented Australia in the Summer Olympics in Japan in 2021. She's 33, a professional cyclist with the Canyon Tram team. And how did they meet? Through mutual friends in Monaco. And their common interest? Well, it's cycling. Valtteri loves the bike. He and Tiffany often ride two races, and from races. And I uh, asked, oh, I think it was last year, Tiffany what Valtteri was like as a cyclist, and her response was, he's strong and he's improved, but endurance is not his strength. Three drivers to go, and uh, next is Kevin Magnussen, who's married to the lovely Louise. Now, I've really only got to know Louise this year. 
I took some pics of her with Kevin after the opening race in Bahrain. We chatted briefly and then a couple of days later she asked if she could use a couple of those pics on social media. We spoke again in Spain and I asked if she'd pose for a couple of pics and she said, oh, I don't like posing, I don't look great. I beg to differ, but anyway, I used a couple of other shots of her that weekend. Anyway, the next time we caught up was in France where she was most happy to smile for me and liked the pics, so did I. Kevin's teammate is Mick Schumacher. His girlfriend is Justine Hoisman from Norway. I posted a pic of the pair going back uh, 2021 at testing in Bahrain. I thought she was uh, just a colleague from the team. And very quickly, there were a number of comments saying, oh, that's Justine, that's his girlfriend. She's in her 20s and doesn't come to that many races. And when she does, because uh, Haas is down one end of the paddock and she would often take the lesser used gate, we hardly ever see her. And lastly, Aston Martin reserve driver Nico Hulkenberg, who got married in 2021 to his longtime girlfriend Egle, also known as Sunny. The pair have a daughter, Noemi, born in September last year, and Sunny runs a successful fashion business. That's 16 drivers and 16 partners. That leaves five to go. Lewis Hamilton, Zhou Guan Yu, Yuki Tsunoda, never cited them with a partner at the track. Pierre Gasly is single. He was going out with Katarina Berezhna. She attended the Cata GP last year. And prior to that, Pierre was dating Katarina Massetti Zanini. Which leaves us with just one driver, Lance Stroll, who was for a time dating Sarah Piley Rowley. And while she was at the Miami GP this year, I understand that now Lance is single. That's your 21 F1 drivers. I trust you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please hit the like button now. I'll gladly hold while you do that and the subscribe button and become a member for some great giveaways. You'll find all of my digital images at ProStarPix.com. Remember, if you want to get one of those signed F1 driver prints, head to KimIllman.com. Go to my shop where you'll also find F1 wall art, large pictures that I'll send to you almost anywhere in the world, plus some merchandise and my F1 photo books. And for my best images live from the track and all during the week, go to Instagram and search at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. It's a lot of that fly.